I'm gonna try. Hold oh, don't mind a little bit of background noise right now, a second. All right. All right, where should we start? Uh, are they sure what to do? We lost so many people. I'm at a little bit of a loss. Well, let's kind of pick up where we started off. Uh, we were sleeping in the um, uh, bones. Well, we, we have to do uh, also bio real quick. Uh, what are they called? Bonds again. Thinking straight. The questions. Yeah, bonds. <laughs> Uh, I was my bond of uh, almost killing people seems to have been false because I seem to have killed the, our entire party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every single bond that you have applies to someone who's already gone. I think uh, uh, Paul uh, has one with me where I'm stealing him from him and he's stealing from me. Yeah, yeah, we got like one bond. Mm -hmm. Your okay. uh, your first bond involves him. The rest, the other two, uh, involve people who are gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of uh, sad. Yeah. <sighs> and wasn't it uh, the two people that I had bonds with? Was it who did you strangle? Who did you almost kill, and why? And how did they stop? I don't. I don't actually. I, I only yeah. have the numbers written down, so I'm not sure what your bonds are. Yeah, no, I have cat almost killed me. Really? I thought I had stolen from you. Yeah, you were you almost killed two people, man. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, no one no one likes you. <laughs> You're almost killing people. You're almost killing people on a regular basis. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's the type of economy they came from anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's gun metal. I'm a little paranoid when I hear silence, so I have to keep my guns blazing and unfortunately I don't feel like wasting ammo, so I have to shoot someone, and my party members are the closest thing to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, uh, Kat, you're going to have to reroll all three of your bonds. Well, actually, no, just two. Uh, no, he doesn't have any involving anyone else. Oh. Right, his, his are about Lyra, uh, Zen, and Cornelius. <laughs> Yours okay. are about Cat, Lyra, and Cornelius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lyra, I'm <laughs> gonna like her. So random. What is it, a D34? Yeah, uh, D34. Yes. 30. You don't have to read that one off. Uh, 30. Uh, you met Blank in another adventure before. Uh, when was this? That's a really hard one to describe since this this is like our first mission altogether. Again. No, I think you could say me because we are going around. <laughs> okay. Because you almost killed me once. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, Let's um, let's meta that out. Uh, I met Paul on another adventure, and that's probably why I almost killed him. <laughs> All right. Uh, another roll then. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Uh, you fought together with Blank uh, against all odds, uh, against the odds, and prevailed. Um, ask them in what situation this was. Uh, what? Second question doesn't matter. Uh, you fought with blank against odds, against the odds and prevailed. Well, I guess uh, I bumped into Mordecai on um, in gunmetal, and we fought against the odds as a uh, very bad situation in the Infernos went from bad to super bad. All right. Especially when the arbitrator has to team for the scum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I currently have no sense of time because I had absolute uh, nothing to do for an entire week. Nine. Are we doing three bombs or just two? 
Uh, three. Okay. So I got nine. Oh, one more. Oh, I'm sorry, I was, I was writing something down. You're all the nine. What list do you want it on? Uh, oh, I'll, read, I'll read you both of them. Uh, you and blank have a con running, or blank and you have a con running. Okay, you only have one choice. You're running a con with someone. Oh, I guess I'll go with Mordecai again. Okay. You're running a con with an arbitrator, right? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't that sound yeah. awesome? <laughs> Cor- uh, corruption everywhere. <laughs> you don't know. Um, the, the corruption is against the corruption. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paul, you have to re-roll your one from list two and uh, your yeah, third one. I select. Yeah. And I need to get. I need to roll some to myself. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What's well, fourteen? Uh, fourteen. Uh, knows my secret. Uh, you. Okay. Do I want the scum or the arbitrator? I go with the. I go with poor guy. All right. So we're giving you a shitload of uh, stuff now. What? This is kind of like a uh, like Lyra before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. She's on almost every list, <laughs> except right. I gonna, uh, actually she's on every list. I was I wasn't looking at the names. And the only list she's not on is hers. So yeah, she's on every list. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, one more roll. A ten. Uh, so, blank often tells you what to do, or for some reason, blank often does what you say. And that was in reverse order. That was list two first on list one. I know. Yeah, I'll go with. Uh, hmm. I'll go with the scums. Uh, I don't know what I say. <laughs> uh, it often does what you say. So that's list one. <laughs> Fine. Get out of my brain, it mage! Part, yeah, you have, it has to do with something about uh, almost uh, killing everybody before. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mordecai, you are up. A D34, please. Uh, you have to do slash roll space 1d34. And to do repeated rolls, you just press yeah. the up arrow key and I'll do your last roll. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 19. Um, uh, blank owes you a favor, uh, whether they admit it or not. Well, because of the prior thing, but the being on, being on team up, I think that would be the, 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 the scum. Makes sense. Okay, all right. That's on everybody's list now. <laughs> uh, another roll. Thirty-three. Um, blank saw you use your power for selfish or vindictive reasons. Uh, ask them who the victim was and what you did. That's not really important, but it'll help you resolve it. What power? Um. Yep. You're an arbitrator, aren't you? Arbitrator. power. You are the law. That would be... Well, it could assume to your authority, so... Yeah. Hmm. You shot an innocent person. Oh, no. I don't know who did that. Who knows that, then? I... I, I... Just... Pick someone. Uh, just roll one D two and uh like pick somebody with that. <laughs> that works. Yeah, but who's one and who's two? <laughs> roll a uh a D six. Cat is evens. Uh oh, oh that works. Alright. Added it. Is. <laughs> so- All right, one more roll then. Yeah, like I have no bonds here. Let me six. 
26. And what list do you want that on? Okay, I'll read them to you. Uh, you stood between blank and what they needed, or uh, blank stood between you and what you wanted. Let's go with uh, nerve. With what? Nerve, uh, I stand between nerve and what they wanted, because I, apparently I know something about their secret. That is Damn you. <laughs> yes. He kicked your Not old false. He kicked your old false weapon in the lava. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now that that's done, um, I get we actually should have done this first. But let's. Why don't you give a brief backstory on your character? Then I'll ask you a couple questions. Mordecai. What? <laughs> Uh, a brief backstory on your character, please. Okay, a brief backstory. Burn him to the ground. Rock on to instantly kill him. What? Ain't no What was that? Oh. Um, well, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk when it's, when it's quiet over here. That's okay. Well, a brief, a brief backstory would basically be... Uh, he was raised in the middle section of Gunmetal City, which basically means that everybody worked in the foundries making weaponry. It was hot as hell, so he used to heat. And uh, that's where he was raised. And during that time, his parents got... In a couple duels, because that's what they did for fun, apparently. And uh, he was raised by a single mother, because the father was an idiot and got killed in one of the duels. Mm -hmm. Yay, fun. Um, and being in the, in the uh, single mother, it's kind of hard for her to work, so sometimes she fell into bad situations, and that's when he decided to, you know, try to protect people. Mm hmm then he became an arbitrator, which is rather <laughs> a very dangerous job to do in that, that city of there. Yeah. But during that time, he got offers from the from uh, the uh, aristocrats of the area, telling them, you know, bribe them to brave them to, you know, serve them, and he didn't really feel right about that because that kind of goes against the people he actually is from. And he just wanted to be able to make sure that everybody had an even key and was adjusted to serve. Alright. Um, then let me ask you your questions. What is your personality? Sorry? What is your personality like? I actually wrote that down someplace. Yeah. I forgot what that was. I gotta find the personality list. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I love I'm like the only one from not Gunmetal City. <laughs> Basically, what what I figured out was his uh his um personality is he's calm and reserved unless something causes him to take charge. All right. Basically, it's like the strong men in the back of the in the, in the back of the corner that you just walk and wait. Look, like uh, I don't want to pick on him. Makes sense. All right. Uh, how did you meet your inquisitor? Um, by the way, the inquisitor's name. Uh, I actually forgot it. But good thing I have it written down. Um, inquisitor Xanthia Plath. Well, we talked about Hi, that. Inquisitor Xanthia Plath. We we talked about that briefly before, mm -hmm. and uh, I had an idea, but you said it was is going to be separate. So we're going to go with that with what you said instead. Um, he is originally from Gunmetal City, and that's where he's trained. And he got transferred over for some unknown reason over to the uh, um, 
the whole the shrine city that you guys are at right now. Uh huh. Which was is kind of awkward and kind of weird to him. He thought that because why would you set, send somebody that was used to gunfire to a city that was supposedly supposed to be peaceful? Okay, that's kind of fishy. But being that his job, he went with it. All right. And that's where he met her in the orientation. Told told him that's he, she told him ideas of what's going what's going to be going to happen, and basically put him on standby for her while he did duties and got used to the area. All right, sounds good. Um, what does the Inquisition mean to you? Nothing really. All right. It's just a way, for, just that uh, a way for me to make sure that things are justified. All right. What will you sacrifice? Nothing. Fair enough. What do you desire? Equality. All right. And what do you hate? Multiple things. One, liars. Two, cheaters. Three, people that think they're better than others just because they have money or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And people that... Uh, people that think that something's wrong just because they don't believe in it. All right. Bigotry. Sounds good. Uh, I think that is everything. Uh, am I missing any introduction stuff or any stuff that we did at the beginning of last time? I don't, I don't think, think so. Of, no, no, I don't think so. All right. Uh, then, where we all left off? We left off, uh, like, we just returned to that person's house. Mm -hmm. You are in Kaleva's house. Uh, he was just taken away by the Arbites. Um, you, where you were before that is you were exploring uh, a back alley, um, all the, all the paths. Uh, up to a shop were boarded up uh, with a gate or boxes. Um, you didn't really find anything on the other side of those boxes. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I went so, walking for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> some people. Yeah. yeah, we ended up just walking up and down a bunch of streets, passing clues, standing on clues, and occasionally dancing on the clues. Um, really quickly, uh, I don't really, I didn't really come up with the backstory, but let's say, if this is okay with you, Mordecai, uh, you were part of the Arbites that was sent, um, you went with the Arbites that was sent to pick up, uh, Calavis, uh, and you were ordered to assist the Inquisitors and in anything they needed, so you're traveling with them right now. Is that okay with you? Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Then that's the story. Now it's on you guys. Alright. Oh, fun. Well, I'm gonna walk up and uh, check out the new person who's just been uh, told to stay with us. Come on. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look him up and down and uh, kind of uh, chuckle a little. As I've noticed that he has some really nice armor, but he's willing a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> My character's gonna uh, sarcastically say to uh, Nerf, Look at this, our babysitter uh, spent all his money on uh, fancy clothing, but never got himself a good gun. Okay. This is all stuff that was issued to me, and uh, all stuff I was able to take off the planet with me. Take off? I mean, you're not a local. Do I look like a logo? 
Jo. Lego Pat Mordecai's hair. <laughs> I say, I just yeah, got on plan. I just. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Why are you doing that for? Yeah, I probably need to shave my head, but it's cold here. <laughs> Shivers and goes, ah, uh, yeah, it is cold here. It's not cold. It's oh, yes, it is. It's freezing. I would like to remind you we're on a desert planet. I'd like to remind you they're from a volcano. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. I'd like to remind you that I'm from a spaceship, so... Exactly. Temperature changes is uh, I'm completely used to. So, um, yeah. What are you guys doing here exactly? Uh, I go. We're investigating this. some like black hood people. Black people? Who did? Oh, people, people with uh, hoods that look black in the middle of the night. People that look hard wonder what. <laughs> uh, like, like black hooded figures. Uh, last time a complaint was that I wasn't giving enough hints. So here's yeah. what I'm gonna give. Mordecai, you know something about these black hooded figures? Yeah, black hooded figures. Yeah. Hmm. What do you guys? What do you guys know about them? Had nothing at all. Nothing. All we know is that they were carrying bodies around. Carrying bodies around. And how many people seen this? So uh, far, the guy the you one witness. Yeah, yeah, basically, the guy you just picked your buddies picked up is the only one who's seen this. That we know of. Huh. People moving bodies around isn't it something that goes unnoticeably without somebody being. If he's a body being moved is rather easy to spot, unless they're misinterpreting it. Unless they're misinterpreting it as uh, moving around a, uh, a a bag or something like that. I can see that, but. If they're moving around bodies, it must be from somewhere. Look at him and say, all we know is that these bodies are high-ranking officials that are being murdered down here in this western slum and are being moved upwards as a message. How do you uh, send private messages really quickly? Uh, hold on. Slash I don't know how to do W. That. Slash Give me a second. Your name. Um... Who, who said that, by the way? Uh, Chaz. The one that's going to give you some information about these hooded figures. Huh. Uh, that actually worked. He invited me to text chat uh, on Aeon. That's perfect. I'm more you guys have keep to keep going. I'm more wondering that what in the world are all these high ranking figures doing all the way down here? Because we know they're now being transported upward. They're not murdered upward. They're in left there. They're actually being port moved up there. And I'm still wondering why no one in the mid district has seen anything like this because they have to go from the slums to the through the mid district all the way up to the higher ranking district said to drop the bodies off. Unless they have um, back tunnels. Come on, witness. Uh, the guy they said he was uh, carrying it up the ramp itself. Yeah. And we're floating, we're sitting on a city built in on top of a cliff. I don't think there's going to be any tunnels. Eh? Unless you count sewage. 
In, indeed, directly that. And uh, from what we've been told, their bodies didn't smell like raw manure. Well, on that, I'm gonna go on the information I had and look at the other other two. Say, we should go for a little walk. Right. Okay. Now, so on that, go to the area where the local store. Well, before we do that, I grab the arbitrate and I go. I'm normally not one for being a little generous, but I will let you borrow my auto gun since uh, I'm hoping you will be able to guard my back here in a firefight. <laughs> Hmm. That works for me. I got I said, basic weapon SB. I could use auto guns. Don't you have yes, a I pistol? I could use auto guns. I have a laser pistol, but I could use solid projectile uh, weapons. Basic. Better than this damn thing. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Man. Your pistol is actually pretty good compared to that. I tell Mordecai, it's like, this is only a loan, unless you would like to purchase it off me for roughly 70 gilts. Which is quite a good deal, because of this quality, you'd have to pay a lot more for it. I'll pay you later. Fair enough. So we saw so walking... So what's the stats? Uh... 1d10 plus 3, uh, 100 meter range. Uh, I'll give you the stats later. That's good enough for me. I saw the one is damage roll and, and some of that. Uh, full turn uh, reload, which also handed you the clip and goes, You may need this in, in case you decide to spray and pray. It does have burst in uh, full auto. Burst is three rounds and full order is ten. Yeah, one D ten plus three impact. So yeah, now that's good enough for me for now. Now that our cop is geared up, let's head to the store. This place you wanted to take us to. Yep, I'm gonna basically uh, <laughs> strap the rifle, the shotgun to the back, and carry the um, auto rifle. You know, grab from the front and keep walking. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, what are you guys doing? Well, following uh, the operator, since he says, let's go for a walk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, walking, I'm going to be looking around and also walking towards a location where I heard the individual would have been in the past. Mm -hmm. All right, you're walking uh, walking down the street, um, the opposite direction of the ramp that leads to the, the temple. Uh, and who was it? It was both of you went down the back alley, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we both wanted to go yeah. back. Yeah, this this street you're on, you notice is running parallel to that alley. Awesome. And I'm. So I'm it, the, it, it's it looks like this. It looks like this is the street that you could see when you looked uh, over the boxes. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Should I? I'm gonna take a awareness check as we walk. All right. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's too dark for me. Uh, yeah, it's it's, well, it, it's actually in the early hours of the morning. Um, yeah, That's you 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 guys were pretty much out all night, so I guess you can be tired, and that's uh, you're not noticing much. 
no, I'll try it to. Okay. Okay. What? I don't have your uh, character sheet uh, up, so I'm assuming my that's a pass. My is th- uh, 30, but I don't have awareness. Oh, so, so that's a fail. Yeah, that's a fail. So. Well, either way, uh, you don't notice anything. Like you, you may have if you have rolled higher. Uh, well, lower. You're, you're feeling a little drowsy, so you're not at your most perspe- perceptive. Um, but it doesn't really. You, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. You just keep going down the street. We have to be really well trained for us to know uh, what the ordinary is on this planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. It, it, there's nothing unusual happening, even by your standards. Basically, what he means is it's um, calm pressure. Yeah, calm well, is unusual my by my having standards. <laughs> by my standards, having your soul burned is completely normal. Yeah, there's a guy in the back alley having his soul burned right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks normal. I'm kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing I'm hearing some gunshots in the local distance to make me feel at home. Uh, no. No gunshots. I might as well roll one, too. Alright. Yep. I see nothing. Okay. What is your, uh, perception? 31. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm even... I'll, I'll, I'm giving you... I'm giving you a uh, a plus ten, but you, because you know the area, but uh, you still don't yeah, that, unfortunately. Um, okay, tunnel vision. Okay. So, uh, I don't think there's any other roles you really can do, but no, just, that, you get to the store. It's a uh, it, you you can't really tell what it is. It just says shop. Uh, the sign. There's a picture of a gun. Uh, so. Um, and it, it also says that it's open. I see picture of gun. I go a gun shop. Let's go. Then I stare for a few minutes at the open sign, as my character is illiterate. So it's like, open. Open the door. Uh, it's open. Yeah, this it's early open. in the morning. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah, so we'll go inside, I guess. Yeah, you're so suspicious by going and looking out. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you go in. It's a really small shop. Just one room. There's a couple mm, pretty low quality guns. You can just tell by looking at them uh, hanging on the wall. Um, there's a counter with a man standing behind it, and behind him is a door. Hey, um, I heard you. I, I, apparently, you guys don't get trade from uh, gunmetal, do you? Uh, um, no. It's uh, there's not much use for guns on this city, so no use getting trade from anywhere. Huh. Kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, as one of the few uh, gun shops in the entire city, I do all right. Maybe um, you start a uh, skeet shooting game. Skeet shooting game? Indeed. Basically, you throw plates in the air and people shoot it. Uh, I'd be all for that, um, but uh, the temple has pretty much all guns on lockdown. Yeah, you sell them. Yeah, illegally. And he notices... You're an arbitrator, and uh, looks nervous, and tries to go to the back door. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Dude, wait a second. <laughs> you have a gun. You run a gun shop illegally, and you have a gun in front of the door, and you have an open sign on it. <laughs> is, is there any bell in your logic there? <gasps> oh, jeez. Um, he, he goes to take one of the guns off the wall, uh, takes it out, Pulls the trigger, nothing happens, doesn't even, and he tosses it over to you, uh, and it doesn't even feel real. He's like, unload um, my, unload my shotgun and hit him. Wait, what? Say that I'm again? unloading the shotgun and hand to him, breached. Oh, okay, uh, he, he says, um, 
that his the storefront for him is uh, selling replica gun for children. That's better. Now this gun right now is considered a replica because it's not armed. <laughs> okay. Uh, he any asks, gun, could, any gun can you sit? I'm gonna tell him this. Away, basically make sure no one is listening. Any gun can be considered a replica as long as you remove the firing pin. Huh. He thanks you for the information and hands you back your shotgun. Thank you. Now, so what do you guys want? Now, sir, I heard that some people were in here, your previous customers, and uh, exchange for information I gave you, I'd like some information about them. Uh, he looks at you apprehensively, uh, doesn't say anything. Aw, oh, come on now. Uh, you can try, what are your inquire. skills? Inquire. Yeah, you can inquire. Um, I'm not actually, to be honest, I, I still, the skills are still mostly a mystery to me, so you'll have to explain to me what that does. But, uh, uh oh, I don't know either. Uh, Inquire is well, used uh, to. Let me pop. Yeah, I can tell you. Inquire is used to gain useful information in the investigation. Uh huh. So would it like increases fellowship skill? No, it um. No, it uses, uses fellowship. No, it, it uses, uses intelligence. It uses fellowship. It uses right. fellowship, but without it, you okay. have you only lose you can only use half of the skill. So he can use his full fellowship. Okay. Then yeah, you can make fellowship roll if you want. I have um, a plus ten to this too. So, okay, nice. Oh, even with plus ten, I can tell that's a fail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they should not be nice. Say that again. Dice are not being nice. Yeah. Uh, They're nice to me. To not now. <laughs> like, not my last game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't actually know what you say to him. Uh, it's on you. But he uh, he still he isn't saying anything. He just... Uh, he, looking at you, now slightly annoyed. Uh, I'm well, going okay, to try for a Hail Mary. I have to get a 13 or less. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to try something. <laughs> Oh. Uh, that failed as an intimidation roll. But no, I'm gonna... that failed as a uh, inquiry skill. Well, I'm going to try to interrogate, uh, intimidate him. Eh? Are you trying to intimidate? So that's on strength. Yeah. Actually, what is your strength? Like higher. I'll strength. walk over and uh, turn, off, turn off the sign. 36. Uh, <laughs> My strength is 36, but I don't have the in, uh, the skills, so I need to make a 16. So can I roll for the um, Intimidate? Isn't that what that just was? Well, I thought you Did said you, you wanted... It, that would be either Intimidate or Interrogate. Uh, if that's Interrogate... Oh, what, what did you just roll? Different. Interrogation's different, I believe. I, I, what, what did he just roll, though? A uh, 37. I rolled. No, I, I know, I know the number. But were you rolling for intimidate or yeah, intimidate. interrogate? Interrogate. Interrogation is advanced. Do you have that skill? No. Uh, so it's halved. No, no, no. Wait. No, you can't. You, you can't, can't do advanced skills if you don't have them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so uh, okay. I guess that's wait. Interrogates a base. Interrogates a basic skill. Interrogation Not is advanced. Interrogate. Okay, so yeah, that was oh, an interrogate. That is. Yeah, uh, interrogation hmm. is an advanced tool power. Oh, interrogate, not intimidate. Yeah. Okay, so intimidate is basic. Interrogation is advanced. There's no such thing as just interrogate. It's an inter interrogation. Hmm. So, do you want to use that as your intimidate roll, or would you like to roll for intimidation? I would like to roll for intimidation. 
All right, then go ahead. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what so do you do? I pull out my knife and I kind of wave it around at him. I go, you better answer my friend, or else I might have to get happy slashy with you. Okay, you, uh, as you're saying that, you drop the knife. (laughs) Um, and he pulls out a combat shotgun from under the counter, and he says, I guarantee you this isn't a replica. (laughs) Oh, guess what? Now you're doing something illegal. (laughs) He is, he switches from pointing at a cat to pointing it at you. I am going to take a roll from cover. That actually warrants, uh, enough that we could actually kill him now. (laughs) Combat! But no consequences. Well, um... <laughs> I have quick draw spell, by the way. So do I. I don't. So, um... What do you for shooting them? So, uh... Can you put some bullets into him without killing him? I said I'll probably kill him if we start shooting. So... Well, I'm going to trade for, for a uh, non-lethal disarm for the, for the shot. Basically, the shoulder. Well, first uh, off... We- there's special rules for that. Hold on. Just yeah. Like- disarm is melee. Or the hand, or, you know. No, there is, like, stuff. So where is combat? I don't know the rules, so, no. I'm just trying to say what I... It's yeah, yeah. Talent, I absolutely. Uh, I'm looking up skills. that. I think this song's in skills. You'd have to go to like chapter three. Oh, good. One Okay. But I'm pretty sure in um, this song is actually a melee attack. No, 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 it's, it's not the skill disarm, basically shoot him so he is disarmed. Yeah, you can make a called shot uh, on that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. basically. Mm. Negative 20. What did you for? But since we're point blank, you'd get a plus 30. Plus what the stuff for... What qualifies for point blank? What? What qualifies for point blank? Uh, three meters... Points? Okay, yeah, you're within point blank then. So we're gonna go into combat. Uh, D100, but we gotta go with. Um, Uh, We have to roll uh, for initiative. We have to roll for initiative. Yeah. Okay. So. And that's a D10 plus your agility bonus. Ooh, that's a seven because I do have the wariness. So me and the clerk are uh, tied. So it's... 1d10 it's plus... 1d10 plus your agility plus wariness. Yep. Plus what? I'm sorry? What's the third one? Wariness. Uh, we're high border, so we get a plus one to... Um, uh, uh, a plus get, one? Uh, yeah, plus one uh, to um in uh, this roll. Okay. So it's 1d10 plus 3 plus 1 for you. Nice. Okay. So, what you, you do... Yeah, okay. So, uh, Mordecai first... Uh, then Cat and the store clerk are on the same. Um, and then Paul is last. Yeah. Do I roll a 1d100 for attacking? Yep. Um, yeah. And I get the, uh, if you get under plus your... five, plus five ballistics. Okay, so you have to roll under a 48. Or 48 or below. Oh, wait. Aiming Do you at- consider this uh, close quarters? Uh, oh, yeah. But you're, you're, you're also doing a called shot, right? Yeah. Yeah, a point blank called shot. Yeah, so you get minus 10. No, he gets plus okay, 10. 
Uh, for the cult shot. Isn't the cult shot minus 20? Cult shot's minus 20, but point blank is uh, plus 30. Oh, it's plus 30? Yeah. Yeah, I think for shotgun it's like plus 30 because it's like scatter. This, like this is with the, uh, um... No, scatter is, um, uh, uh for every two oh, degrees no, no, of success. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah no, he gets is, a plus yeah. 10. So roll your uh, roll. I'm gonna roll the. I don't know what I have. One D one hundred. Whoa! Damn. That yeah. is a lot of degrees of success. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's um, that's about five degrees of success. So he gets two extra shots. Ooh. And there, there were call shots to the shoulders, so. Uh huh. Now, I. When the extra shots, would the star clerk dodge now or when all the shots are taken? He uh, would dodge now if he can't net dodge okay. it. No, 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 I don't think he's able to dodge because it says. Very, wait. Is no, Scatter another hit? Scatter oh, yeah, is another hit, right? Yeah. So, yeah, he doesn't get to dodge. Uh, if it was a critical, then he dodges. If you roll well, you, a 10 you, on you the can damage, always dodge. Oh well, yeah, you could dodge for like all the damage at once right now. Yeah, but then uh, he wouldn't be able to damage. dodge my attack. Yeah. I, I guess I don't understand what you're saying. Like, because uh, Gatter is not uh, like additional shots; it's more hitting. Uh-huh. Okay, you that can, makes sense. But, uh, so yeah, roll that. But first, uh, you should roll where it lands on the body. He doesn't no, need he's, scattered. Each, he each call shot already. Call. Yeah, I call. Okay, so the called shot, well, you don't have to roll for that? No, no. he uh, just basically okay, said right shoulder. Uh, the guy's right okay. armed, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's the right arm, if that's what he's using to disarm him. Um, mm -hmm. you can do a no, roll I for dodge. Okay. You can. Woo! Yeah, he... He dodges. Uh, you can see <laughs> it, it. Yeah. Uh, he ducks behind the counter. Uh, with a shotgun. But like, he, uh, gets out of the way and is now... Um, almost fully behind the counter. And crap himself. <laughs> so since uh, I... He, he's, mostly, he's mostly swearing at you, actually. Drop your weapon and give up, or you're dead. Um, he yells that uh, he's never going to surrender, uh, and you'll never catch them all. Alright, so... Uh... I'm gonna. Oh, oh, oh. He, he said, catch them all in that sentence. Okay, yeah. now you're really gonna bring him in. He either really likes Pokemon <laughs> or <laughs> maybe something else. I don't think no anyone has ever caught all the Pokemon before since uh, they all divided between the two games. <laughs> I am. I have Y, and I'm going to buy X so I can catch all of them. All right, so, so I'm going to catch them all. But anyway, back to the story at hand. He's now um, in his trainer red. Since I'm already hi ducked behind the cover because he um pointed the gun at me and I pulled the mine gun out and jumped behind it when he uh, pointed it back at Mordecai. Um, I'm gonna actually lean my gun over the counter and say, uh, and I'm gonna actually do um full auto. Well, where where are you in the store? Because I I don't know where your positions were oh, when uh, you entered the store. Yeah, uh, wait, uh, back us into uh, like make a little box of what the store looks like, so we get an idea okay. of what we're shooting. Yeah. Like, yeah, from what I, from what I was told, that from what I was understanding, all three of us were in front of the counter, and he was on the other side of the counter. No, I wasn't in front of the counter. I was off to the side. Well, I was in front of the counter. 
Uh, you guys entered. Where's freehand? Where is freehand? There it is. You guys entered through here. Counter is about here. He's there. So yeah, like, and I, there's a. This is the other, the back door I told you about. I'll be uh, right. I'm right there, right? hiding behind the counter with pay? my gun. Where are you? Right here. Uh, you just How hold do you down pay? your mouse button down, and it pings it. Oh. So we are. Wait, do, yeah, do, do you guys right have uh, freehand drawing tools? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can just draw on it if you want. Okay. Um, I'm right here. Since I don't know who's who. <laughs> I'm black. Okay. Oh yeah, what you guys? I, I see you guys have your colors next to your names. Okay, that makes that yeah. makes my life easier. Yeah, I'm the little green dot. So since I'm behind the cover, I I ju when he pulled out the shotgun and when he pointed it away from him, I leaped behind the counter right, or by the counter, right, basically ducking down and pulling out my pistol. Um, mm -hmm. So now my I'm going to actually lean my pistol over the counter, pointing down at him, and I'm going to uh, full auto. Okay. And how full auto works is it gives me a plus 20, and for every degree of success, he takes another shot. All right. Up to six bullets. Okay, and... Um... You Since have 48 plus 60 else. You need to roll under a 68. Uh, actually, I need to roll under a 98 because it's plus 30. Oh, yeah, yeah, point plus blank. 30. Damn, so, yeah. He takes all okay. six shots. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 six degrees of success. All right, uh, he can't dodge. Nope. So, why don't you roll to see, should we, should I roll... Each shot, indiv should you roll each shot individually to see what hits him on the body, or are we just going to assume they all go off and hit him in one spot? Um, I assume in this case you roll individually, maybe? Because he's you're doing in, uh, multiple shots. That's it's true. Not all just, right. Um, yeah, all right. Go ahead and do that. I don't have it open on where... That hit hits. the body. To be honest, I didn't expect you to attack this guy. That hit the <laughs> body. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Well, okay. uh, do, you, do you have the sheet open where you? Uh, I have it open? open, so sixty-three. That would be the body. Yep. Does he have any armor on him? Uh, I just scrolled off the page he was on. Give me a moment. Um, armor. He does not. His toughness what? bonus is three. All right. Well, he's not gonna have a pleasant day after this. Okay. First so shot. He takes two damage. Two. I guess he's getting real lucky. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Oh, critical. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, shoot again. And you miss horribly. He's, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. He's dead. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he only had ten wounds. And now he's uh, in, like, negative uh, critical damage. Yeah, I, I stopped um, counting. Uh, yeah, you, you basically d destroyed him. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, nice. I was just going to knock him down and stun him. Because you do know that is a viable option to just stun the hell out of him. Only that if you have an action. Only if you have take down. You know, I was just trying to like you know disarm him, but yeah, like here goes Cat killing everybody. <laughs> Not again, Cat! Stop! Did you? You kill him? <laughs> yeah, Cat just killed him. I just like, killed him. Overkill. He switched cheese now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, he took six. Wow. He took six bullets to the chest, point blank. <laughs> so, um, I'm walking around the counter and uh, take his gun. Okay. 
He had a combat shotgun. Um, well, that's, that's, that's first priority. If you, if someone's down, you take the gun first and move it away from them or, or something like that. So they don't. So if they're not I have dead, gun. I'm gonna check the behind the counter. See what's there. Um, couple replica guns and some shotgun shells. What was that? Uh, if you ask the right question, you will find out. All right. Is there like a hidden compartment or something? You can take a perception check. Ah, shit. I'm going to well, you know. Take, okay. Take I, uh, I my perception's thirty. Are, are you taking the perception check for the entire store, or just the counter, or him? The counter. The, the, the counter. counter. Um, there's nothing unusual about the counter, uh, at all. All right. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take a shotgun, take the ammo, and um. I'm looking in the back room. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's locked. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm going to uh, help out the operator and try to break it down. I'm going to uh, search all, his what, body. What, what, first of all, what material is the uh, door made out of? Metal. Uh, what, 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 what um, material is the area around the door made out of? Um, probably rockcrete. Yeah, it, it, it's it's uh, stone. Uh, yes, you can search his body for a key. Yeah, I will do that. Idea. Yeah, uh, you find a key and one thrum guilt. Yay! That's what I was rolling for. You have a key. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm going to walk over and uh, unlock the door while uh, kind of jiggling and pounding on the door trying to break it open. No, I actually have 31 strength, but I was going to use uh, my sword. Well, I was just basically looking at it saying, hmm, door. Okay, so I unlock the door while uh, the our arbitrator is looking at it, and our psyker is beating it with the, her sword. No, I just draw my sword. I didn't even start anything. I okay. just have my sword out from the uh, you guys murdering the guy, poor guy. <laughs> it wasn't murder. He he drew up an on an arbitrator. Therefore, it's legitimate. Yeah, I know it is legitimate, but cat there just kills everybody. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's go in the door. Okay. Oh, first, uh, keep the door open so you, until we can smoke inside. Yeah, you open up. It's a very tiny room. There's a single crate uh, on the ground. All right. That's, uh, I use my sword to pry the crate open. Okay. Um, it's filled with teddy bears. What I'm going to... Okay, gonna... I'll grab a teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> I now have a teddy bear in my inventory. All right. Um, I'm going to kind of look around the box. By the way, the, the teddy bear is blue. Uh, uh, what? what? I'm going to look what around the box uh, to see if it's not hiding a passage or something. All right. Uh, can you take a perception check? Yes. Why would a gun shop that has... Those uh, fake guns have a crate of teddy bears. It's a toy uh, shop. Do I feel anything a in plus 20? Because there's not much in this room to notice, so it's hard to get distracted. Uh, there's faint scrapings uh, on the ground on one side of the crate. It looks like the crate had been moved. Okay. All right. Well, do I feel anything uh, abnormal within the teddy bear? Nope. Because I picked it up. <laughs> All right. Um, feels fine to you. I'll take uh, uh, can no. I uh, look uh, through the entire crate see if it's just teddy bear? Um, yeah. Uh, it's uh, nothing but teddy bears. All right. All right. I'll take one for the hell of it and uh, shove it, shove his ass in on on the shotgun and and push the crate. I'm gonna right. take a strength test and try to move it, the uh, crate. Okay. What is your strength? It is uh, 32, I believe. Yeah, you, uh, you, I'm giving you a plus 10. You, you lean on the crate, 
Uh, yeah, and it, shit. it moves very, very easily. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a wooden crate filled with teddy bear, so it's not very heavy. Uh, and you, you, you push it, uh, and it slides out of the way. All right. It's deceptively light, so you stumble a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, like, when I go to help Pat, I fall off on my face, apparently. Yeah. No, you, 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 you just fall straight. You fall straight Pat into the box. <laughs> So you you checked the whole body, right? I said, yeah. Uh, All right. Hmm. All he had on him was that key and uh, one guilt, which unfortunately we can't split. <laughs> well, we can, but I don't think you would like the outcome of that. I don't think the uh, government of this place would like the outcome of that. Cutting up no, money is uh, very illegal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, people do it anyway. Yeah. After you move the crate, you notice there's a hatch on the ground. I'm going right. to... Well, you know what? Let's go. I say, wait. Right, let's go. I'm going to take a perception check to make sure it's not booby-trapped. Oh. Somebody say it's not booby trapped. No, basically, uh, I just opened up the, cr the. I just fling the door open, uh, hoping it wasn't booby trapped. <laughs> Which, if, if, it, if it was booby trapped, it would have blown up. Nice way to check for booby traps there. <laughs> it's like, sorry. I'll check. Open the door. It's not, it's not actually a door, it's, it's a hatch in the ground. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 I want to clarify. So, do you want to go down it? Yes. Uh, yeah, can I set uh, off the lights in the light. store real quick? Can I set off the lights in the store real quick? Yeah. All right. Huh? I set off the lights in the store so nobody sees what the hell is going on in the store I, anymore. I, I already shot off the uh, open sign, so... <laughs> so I, I mean, really... like, lights in the store so it's dark and, like, make it so that nobody could see in the store. I'm That's actually going to go walk up and use the key. Uh, I, mean, I suppose it's uh, used for not only unlocking the back door, but locking the front door. Okay, yep. It, it can do that. Alright, so I lock the front door just to make sure we have no unpleasant guests coming in on us. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you, too. Is there anything like a uh, duct tape in the store? Uh, you can take a perception check and find out. No. Yeah, you don't find anything. Damn. I tap Mordecai on the shoulder. I go, can uh, should you give the um, combat shotgun or your double barrel shotgun to Naba to um, the psyker? We could actually use it. Love the psyker. So I got a combat shotgun now. Which one do you want? Uh, a any combat shotgun. Any combat shot we could, yeah. I only have one combat shotgun, so here you okay, go. Okay, yeah. Okay, hey, here's some shells, by the way. Yeah, I have a penalty to long range anyway, so up close and personal is how I like it. Ah, <laughs> you can carry them both.